Home Podcast. Here are your hosts, Scott Bear and Jeremiah Johnson. Welcome to the Lost and Home Podcast. My name is Scott. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Kyle Brock. Oh, sorry about that. I just farted. It's a big old fucking stink sound. Big old stink bomb just Yeah, happened. I don't know what just happened there, yeah. Chair. You, you need to stop miking uh, below your chair. Yeah, I yeah, don't no. know why you do that. I, I have to have uh, at least one good stereo anus mic on me at all times. Yeah, it, makes, case, it yeah. actually makes some yeah. kind of sense. It's internal. It, I actually just I just swallowed a lav mic a while ago, and I haven't been able to fish it out yet. Tried the finger hook thing. Didn't work. So yeah. how you been this week, Chair? Oh, I've been fine, man. Leading up to Christmas, which I love. I love Christmas. I know. I can tell by your house. Decked out to the to to the tits. Yep, that's right. Like I, I'm tits. looking around right now. I'm There's seeing animatronic Santas, animatronic reindeer. Yeah. You pose them awkwardly. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a gangbang situation. Oh, well, I mean, you know, the, it's not unwanted for me. Mm-hmm, but yeah. I feel like if anyone else came into your house, like say a cop was called because yeah. of a loud noise, mm-hmm. you might get in trouble. Or even somebody else came to my house or happened to peep on in. Like, uh, you know, like our special guest today, you know, because we do have a special guest on the show. I know, I know. Yep, Are yep. we going to keep uh, teasing this or do you just want to dive in? No, I'm going to actually give a little bit of an intro to who we've got uh, on, on Mike coming up. Uh, you may have uh, have heard him uh, early on try to uh, introduce himself. Um, I and, heard farting sounds. Yes, that's that's actually, you know, I might just edit farting sounds in there. And then, and yeah, oh, he's oh, he's trying to chime in again here. But I just want to give a little information. This is a, a good friend of the show, Kyle Brock. You probably heard his name drop his name a bunch of times because he's helped us out a lot. And we finally had him on to help us out with an episode and to also interview him about his uh, starring role in the Netflix movie Terrifier. We um, have been spreading this all over the internet for the last week. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are excited at this point. Uh, everyone has Netflix. Everyone. Yes, Netflix Every is the... I, I call person. Netflix the Netflix of Netflix. And, Netflix. and you know what I say yeah. about people who don't have Netflix? Stop fucking your kids. Yeah. There's Netflix. Yeah, yeah seriously. Just stop fucking I, your I, kids. I actually say you like, know the che- world... You know what's cheaper in the long run? Netflix. Ne- Netflix, yeah. 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 Over, actually, you know, if we, let, let's do the math real quick. Netflix, yeah. $10 a month. Uh, mm-hmm. That's twelve months in a year. It's one hundred twenty bucks in a year. Uh-huh. You live a hundred years. That's yep. twelve hundred dollars. Wait, no, it's twelve thousand uh, yep. dollars. That math works out to less than going to court for fucking your kid. That's right. Um, the numbers check out actually. As as a number guy, I want to say that's actually absolutely. I accurate. cannot believe you doing all that math in your keyboard without your calculator open. Managed to keep that same web page open. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do. I, I got to give a little background because uh, you know Kyle's waiting in the wings. Uh, uh, just about what we found out about. I didn't know a lot about Kyle personally um, outside of you know what he's let me know so we we looked up his bio online from mylife.com uh kyle brock is 37 years old and was born on april 1st 1981 currently lives in tarentum pennsylvania uh sometimes kyle goes by various nicknames including kyle d brock and kyle brouch his ethnicity is caucasian and his religious views are listed as christian kyle's now single um, he has a reported annual income of under ten thousand dollars and a current net worth value of twenty five thousand dollars. Properties include his current home value, which is valued at seventy two dollars. Welcome to the show, Kyle Brock. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. Yeah, it was. Uh, did I get a lot of that right? I mean, we had a little bit to work on there, but uh... mm, most of it was accurate. I would okay. say the annual the annual income was plus minus within five dollars. Okay, um, yeah, that's good. That's solid for a website. Uh, was the marital, marital status uh, plus minus one wife? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, m- marital status is actually married. Um, uh, okay. But, uh, you know, she she often dislikes me. So well, I think I guess, she uh, reached out to this guess, website and let, let them know ahead of time that she was going to, that you were going to be single. It says now single. So, <laughs> right, yeah. right. It was right, like right, breaking right, right, news, right, right. yeah. I mean, this is airing Friday. A lot can happen in the next four days. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, this is this is a quick, uh, we're talking, and, uh, and, and, and it's just up. Yeah, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, well, congratulations on your uh, pending divorce, and I, I hope you. Uh, <laughs> right. So, so as I as I mentioned, you um you know you you, you uh, helmed the the movie uh, Terrifier on Netflix, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, you uh, you actually, for what we understand, uh, for folks that mm-hmm. uh, have not heard the show and heard us talk about you. Uh, By quite the way, a bit, wait, yes. before you go oh, yes, further, yeah, okay, um, sure. for anyone who That's missed fine. it earlier, uh, Terrifier on Netflix, Cobb yeah. Rock starring. I uh, just want to make right. sure anyone out there who yeah. has a subscription and isn't fucking their kids and actually puts their money there, they understand Good that this yeah. is a Netflix movie, an amazing Netflix movie. It is, yeah, it's a horror Ky- movie on Netflix called Terror Horror Movie. Uh, Kyle Brock starring. Yeah, um, and the 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 now part of part of this is you 
mentioned to us that you were not aware that uh, you were actually in this movie until you... <laughs> well, first of all, I, I think you said until you got a self-imposed alert, which makes me wonder how many uh, how many Google alerts you have set up for yourself. And I, maybe Kyle D. Brock and Kyle Brown, <laughs> you know, those pseudonyms you use, clearly. Yeah. Time to eat, drink my morning coffee, and see what Kyle Brouch is up to. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah. he's in a new movie right, right. on Netflix. Uh, uh, so it's it, it's Kyle B. Brock. Okay, um, okay. No, cool. you know, side story. I found it. Uh, it's super weird. There is uh, uh, another Kyle D. Brock, okay. though, that, and I think he's in uh, Colorado. Okay, this one's and, in Pennsylvania. I don't know, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. And w- we had a shared mutual friend that I didn't know, but I've got so many people that are on my Facebook that are strangers yep. just from doing podcast, music, voice work. Like, I treat social media like I, I don't really post. I only kind of like put out stuff I've done. Yeah, I yeah, use it too. more as like a, a portfolio kind of thing. So it was like, yeah, one of those weird things. But yeah, I keep... I keep Google alerts open because I do voiceover full time. Yeah. And um, there's absolutely no way for me to like keep track of all the projects that I do. You know, I might do like an IVR system for uh, a uh, small office or I might do movie lines for like a stop animation. Yeah, you you uh, ended stop. up on my Instagram feed one time. I was like, did you do a like a video game commercial or something like that? And, and you were like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It was that yeah. football game. No, no, I, you did that I, one. That one's good. That was supposed so to be you, pretty solid. You but. saw that too. Well, I, I've I had. Saw, I saw the like. Uh, it was sort of like one uh, of those. Um, I, I created I created a series of sketches that I, I I bounced off you at one point about like it wasn't based on that one but it was based on those types of ads that you get on Instagram which are the people yeah you know reading the script about like Clash of Clans and stuff like that. Well, my my primary line of work is audio voiceover, yes, yes. but That's how on we found the you. side, on the side, I offer um, like some video presentation services. Like I work with a bunch of music companies and furniture companies where they'll have me do like demonstration videos yeah. where you know it's it's me on screen showing the product and stuff like that but in the process I've done like video game video I hate video work I fucking hate it <laughs> but it's sub- it's supplement income yeah, like course, that yeah. kind of stuff I absolutely detest it and I can't tell you how many times like somebody from my high school whom I haven't spoken to since 2004 um, will Facebook message me out of the fucking blue and be like, hey, dude, did I see you on uh, some, uh, like, northern Arizona landscape rental commercial <laughs> on uh, Instagram yeah. promoted? And you're like, let me and check then my they send me Google a screenshot, yeah. and I'm like, I don't want to see this. Yeah. And then um, this is uh, this will probably be off the record. Um, but I, uh, it's not legal where I live, but I am a marijuana smoker. And my own fucking dealer a month ago, the last time I saw him, pulls up and goes, dude, did I see you on a Facebook ad? I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? The guy who brought weed saw me online. Son of a bitch. Suddenly the price um, goes up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you must so be you're uh, Asian famous. No, okay, yeah. Yeah, everybody it just sucks. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. So I do Actually, a lot of like ad work and yeah. stuff like that. Um, which, you know, I'm not I'm not ashamed of because it's just well, it's just real basic camera presentation kind of work, which yeah, fuck it. I don't mind doing. I don't mind being on camera. Not, yeah. I went through broad I, I went through broadcast school and stuff like all that kind of th- shit was, you know, stuff that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, I'm I- used to being on stage, so like it doesn't bug me, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually got turned down for the original Mr. Hands. I was going to be Mr. Hands, and uh, luckily I got turned down for that role because, uh, yeah, I was too loose. Is, is that for real? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know. No, I, I was like, no, 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 no. This isn't for me. Now, Kyle, before we jump into exactly what you did in Terrifier, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, to a T, we want to dive deep into that because this is the uh, the role of the century on Netflix, by yeah. the way. Uh, uh, Terrifier, sure. on, Terrifier on Netflix. Make sure to check it out right now while it's still there. Uh, popularity, heard, though, uh, says it's going to stay there forever. Yeah, well, yeah. Scott, it's- Scott, I don't mean to cut you off, and I don't want to jinx it, but... um. I have heard whisperings of Oscar buzz. 
I'm heard, just saying. I, I've heard that too. I've I, heard that I don't want to. Don't say it loud. Don't say it loud. But I've heard whispering. <laughs> That's I, all. I gotta say, all right. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. But I, I do have to say that uh, that Terrifier in the horror community, like I was reading about the buzz on Bloody Disgusting and all the blog posts and stuff that I read. Like it's it's. It was remarkably well received for an indie. You know, it's uh, it's it's the time to be in those kind of movies, though. And I saw actually uh, one of the two All Hallows Eve, the original one that the had the original skits, the anthology skits. Yeah, <laughs> that's what horror people Which do. I, I was actually not even aware yeah. that it was developed from a short. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, for um for the indie production that it is, and I mean, you can tell it's. I, I mean, uh, I'm being honest. It's low budget. Um, it's still it's got a 70 percent on Rotten Tomatoes like there was a lot of critical response I put it up on my Facebook and I couldn't believe how many people said they watched it like I didn't even think people like I'm a huge horror nerd I know you guys are big horror nerds but like I didn't I didn't think horror was like even a big popular category and I was just blown away by like how many people were like you were in that I totally watched it that no, movie was it, awesome it was well received and it was like it, it, like you said it, it's what is it like 60 70 something on Robin Tomatoes yeah it's, it's, I think it, I think it was like 70 yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's well received good for an indie movie I mean it's, it's a good old creepy clown fair you get what you what you you know put into it for time I, and it's fun I, I love that we're still in the it. midst of my segue yes I had a point to make like nine segues ago, but this interview has been you rolling can still, so you can fast. Still no, make it if I, I'm going to derail the whole conversation to talk about to, what I for, want to gonna, talk I, I about. I love it because your segue it's now Scott's is going to be an, <laughs> it's going to be an anti segue. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm derailing the whole conversation because I think it was ten minutes yeah. ago. I had some you had a good jab. one. I could see you be like, I had a good one. And I, I, can I, I give you jabbing yeah. you? I was no, like, I know, but I was going to interrupt our guest and be like, Can I give you Scotty time? No, you ready for me to ruin the show because it means nothing now? At this point, huh? Can I can I give you a little bumper for yeah. when uh, you want to interrupt Scott? Sure. <clears throat> Scott time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's Scott time. You know what? Do a clean one of those real quick. Okay. Scott time. Sweet. I'm gonna cut that out. That's yeah, gonna be. It might be that useful be in the peppered. future. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be peppered into. A bunch of stuff because you're giving us a nice clean. Because uh, you you've got some professional Ooh. gear. Anyway, wait, wait, you wanna, wait, let me. Yes. Let me give you. Let me give you one more take of it. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Let me. Tr- l- let this, me try something this else. This is like how the sausage is made, folks. This is how it's done. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, shut up! It's Scott time. I like it. That's very now good. I just feel like I've been shamed into not talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, he just gave you two intros. Now you gotta fucking go off the rails, buddy. Well, I felt for that one, like, maybe you could give it some old, like, 40s NBC oh, yeah. hey. radio kind of. Yeah, I got it. I got yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I am so right, curious when all is said done, how this sorry, entire go episode's going to be cut together. <laughs> I, you know, if I, 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 I hate <laughs> this, I wish I had more time to cut it together. Is all that left in? Is some of that left in? I, is oh, none of that left <laughs> in? Uh, is this left in? It is am all I left in. How much right garbage? Now? It is, it this is, all is like the inception of podcasts. I don't know if this is edited out or not. Even know in. which interview you're in. We've been interviewing you the whole time, Scott. Hello, Scott. Time. How how much oral garbage actually made it to the cutting room floor? You know, here's the thing: is I'm going to be too busy this week to fucking cut a second hey, of that out. You know what so happens? What? Well, the good. longer this is, the longer it can go into All right, the episode guys, well, that we're pulling up. from the banks. Sure. Giddy up! Yeah, yeah. That's right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so continue to oh, yeah. talk. Derail, baby. Oh, I don't know if I want to anymore. <laughs> oh no, you. Oh no, we. Heard. It's been a little. It, it wouldn't even make sense now. It's been twenty minutes with it's nine like derail. Specifically in response to something that it was, I, and, and then I'm probably gonna cut out. So yes, it might be, make no contextual yeah, sense yeah, that's anymore. That's what she said. Boing. Like that's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we instead want to just go into some of uh, some of what we're going to ask uh, Mr. Brock here? Um, and do we want to also have a clean open for it? Because who knows whether this is in the show or not? Oh, no. This is this is in. Is this, this all show? This is all in. We're only 14 minutes in. Are we in the show? In. Yeah, we're only 14 minutes in. We're, we're right. doing this. Yeah, we're doing this. The only, you know, unless Kyle comes back and gives me some timestamps to cut out. Yeah, he know, had to walk that. away for a bathroom break. So this makes a perfect sense for us to actually explain the next segment. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So we give him time to come back. Yeah, so we... We have uh, developed, uh, it's sort of a quote game, I guess, is what we originally I called it. I would call it a quote game. Yeah, yeah. And and that, that's what I typed on the screen. Yes, and, and also, you came up with, originally you said, uh, 
<laughs> which Kyle said it was the uh, was, very yeah. on the nose name, but it kind of explains it, so we don't have to. Yeah. So we, uh, Kyle, we've got we've got a series of ten quotes. Some of them are yours, and the others belong to other either uh, characters named Kyle or actors named <laughs> Kyle playing characters, and you have to tell us. Which Kyle said it. So either give us which the, Kyle said yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So some, some, it. Some, some That's the yours. title of the game. Exactly. Which Kyle said which it. Which Kyle All right, said so, it. Real um, quick. Is it going to be which Kyle Warner? Kyle, Kyle said, said it. it. Sorry. Uh, you, which Kyle said it. I, I don't know why I'm giving you like nothing but falsetto <laughs> bumpers. <laughs> no, like, that, that really doesn't add. I, I, I don't. I don't know why you're doing it. I'd like the thought of someone yeah. now watching your terrifier like piece, and it's just like, hey, everybody, couple <laughs> people found dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like a one fucking one trick pony over here. <laughs> I wonder where you get surprised this fucking lines got picked. Oh man, a couple of people got killed. This is a crazy night. So anyway, all right, I love it. Let's play. All right, so, so um, uh, yeah. uh, what? Uh, what are oh, the sure. rules? Kyle one, Kyle two, and I'm Kyle one. Well, here's the thing. Just say uh, you. You have to. It's either you or okay. name the other Kyle. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. It was me or that's the other Kyle. Yeah. 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 Well, it. Well, it actually, it. you know what? Let's make it easy. Other Kyle. Other or Kyle, Kyle or him, and you get and a bonus we... bonus point if you can name the other Kyle. If you can actually say Ooh. that is, and we're keeping know. score. Yeah. Ooh, I, oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, what are bonus? Bonus points. It's what are they worth? Bonus points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one singular, singular. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You've got a if, long way to go. Is with it that. per? <laughs> is it per? Like, if I can name the Kyle that said it, it's an additional, additional point. Yes. Single, yes. single point per. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you okay. technically, if you got all of them right, I guess you could technically get twenty points if you named. Well, actually, okay, no, not, so, not necessarily. We can't tell you which of you can't name yourself. If you name yourself, that's it. So there are and a we certain can't, we number. can't tip them off. Yes. So yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's an right, ambiguous so there, point yeah. system. We'll let you there, know at the end if you There is won. a finite number yeah. of points I can achieve, yes. and you'll let me know at the end. And at the end, uh, we'll let you know if you want. You're playing against nobody, so hopefully you win. Right. Um, Do I have a prize? Uh, I'd say if he gets five points, he wins. Let's just make it a low bar. Five so, points, but what's he my, wins. What's the but prize? The, but, but still the prize, yeah. Ooh, you get to be on this week's episode. That's right. Oh, okay. All right. I can continue to be on I this mean, we week's can episode. Edit everything you set out. It can yeah. just be Jared if I, get, <laughs> if I get less than five points, I'm immediately kicked off this episode. Yeah, there'll, there'll be a hard pause yeah. of, of a tone. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. we'll, we'll, work out, we'll work out a proper prize later, depending on how uh, how things go. Here. Um, all right. So, uh, uh, let's see here. What, which, what do you want? Audrey you start. This. Okay. You here start. we go. So we're starting out with a little softball here. Um, this is a- um, in oh. in post. Can yes. you put some like dramatic? Who wants to be a millionaire? Kind of music. Yeah, we this? I, 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 we got it actually a note to probably put a little bit of background music and a couple of uh, of these and even a couple of the ten questions. So I was thinking, yeah, a little bit of that dun dun kind yeah. of stuff behind it. Yeah. Right, right. Way, yeah. way yeah. to ruin our future note that we already have. Yeah, that's what you get when I have another audio nerd on. Like, yeah, you, know, you get some, yeah. you get some good points. Sustain tension. Yeah, you know, dun, dun. like a like a competition during uh, during an episode yeah. of uh, CBS's Big Brother. Yeah, and you can even you can even like play it up if you like. I don't know. You know, I was thinking it was Kyle Chandler, but um, I'm going to have to go with Kyle Brock on this one. I know. Yeah, I know. Before we go, I got to like mentally refresh all the Kyles. I know these yeah. are the Kyles. I know, yeah, some, I know some these are, are the Kyles. I know some are character names. Some are some. actors that play the character. So so they can oh, be all over. Okay. All right. Yeah. So some are going to be real people and some will be characters. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Got it. For instance, okay. Kyle Brock is a real person, not a character, but. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Examples. Exactly. I'm not going to give no an example. Oh, wait, we use wait, every example wait. we could. Think no, 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 no. Of. I, I do have, I do have a clarification question. Sure. If you were using something that was said, and you used it from something that was said in something I did that was published, technically that is me as a character. I'm out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's if it's something you said, it's a, it's Kyle. It's, just say just say you said. It. We're it's, doing this. I'm just. I'm, 
hey, you want to play 10 questions? Yeah, but let me complicate the fuck yeah, out of it. Yeah. How about, how, can we do that? Yeah, can, can we take 40 minutes to do these 10 questions? I'm about to go outside. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to walk off. Well, here's... <laughs> all right, I'm good. I'm well, good. I'm good. I got the rules. Let's do it. All right, yeah. I thought they were simple rules to begin with, but... Uh, they, it, they are simple rules. I'm just... <laughs> How do you feel about the name of the game? I'm, I'm, I'm just Kyle terrible. Said, that's should it that's be what, what it comes Kyle down says to. says we should do? Yeah. yeah do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're starting with a softball. This one should be pretty easy. This is, uh, this okay. is a WNAW breaking news alert. We have a major development in Mice County this evening where authorities are investigating a double homicide. Okay, that's, uh, that's Kyle me. Yeah, that's, that's Kyle you. Yep. That's right. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. nice. That's your yep. uh, lines from the Netflix movie, hit Netflix movie, Terrifier. Terrifier yes, starring yeah. Kyle Brock. Brock. Uh, make sure to hit up yep. Netflix this holiday season I, with your family. Way, I assume uh, that was your line because it sounded exactly you like know, you. So, you know, I, I paused only because I did just recently voiceover for um, a horror video game, cool. and uh, I also played a news anchor, and it was like. N- not identical copy, but it was so fucking close. Yeah, it, it, so it, that's why game, I was like, game "Wait, was called Terrifier. shit, was that the video?" <laughs> it, I was like, "Was that the movie or the game?" I can't remember. I think reg- but yeah, reg- yeah, that was me. Regardless, right, it so didn't one- matter. It would have been you, I think. So you could have answered the same right, way. And Kyle as a character. So is that bonus point? No, nope, no, nope, not part of the game. No, nope, right, moving get, on. Okay, question number right, two. Right, you can't I'll get bonus, it. Can't get bonus it. points for yourself. So I accept it. I accept it. Number two. I have no idea where this will lead us, but I have a definite feeling it will be a place both wonderful and strange. Oh, wow. Which Kyle, okay. which Kyle said that? If, if you need any hints, we can give you a hint. Oh. Drop off a no, half no, a point. we never give hints. No, we can drop off a half a point. We've never done this game before. Right. Shut up. <laughs> okay, uh, how about, uh, um, I can, can, I can you tell al- you this is al- a- allow me like one miniature lifeline? I, I would and say- it can. It could be you, no, you, no. There's a lot of questions here. You could have three lifelines. Yeah, and, and what I would actually okay, say oh, here is you is get we, to pick the host. You get the lifeline from. And I would actually say that Ooh. what we can also do is tell you whether this is uh, the name of the actor is Kyle okay. or if it's the character named Kyle. This is an actor named Kyle who said this, not his okay, character. Okay. Okay. If you this ask me, I'll give you a different name. lifeline. That's all not right, his lifeline. Um, That's just what I'm going to give him. Everyone. All right. Can you reread the quote, please? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Where this will lead us, but I have a definite feeling it will be a place both wonderful and strange. Mm-hmm. God, you know, both. Um, I could I could go for a real damn good cup of coffee right about now. How about you? Yeah, or some yeah. I was or some I was definitely gonna say Kyle McLaughlin. Yep. At first, I thought it might be um, Kyle Chandler, like when he was talking to his wife. Uh, when they were going to move in Friday Night Lights, but the the strange part is definitely Twin Peaks. Yeah, that's very it. good. Very yeah. good. Kyle you got two for two. All right, uh, and yeah, Kyle isn't uh, Kyle the Kyle the actor. Wait, yeah, how yeah. did the how did yeah. how did the bonus points work? You got a bonus point. Oh, okay, I got the. You got a bonus. <laughs> I already <laughs> forgot. All right, I got it. All, All right, right. Uh, I came <laughs> loaded. This is number three. This yeah. is number three. I came loaded. I came loaded. Okay. You, you, you can do it in the actual actor's voice if yep. you want to make it sound more comfortable for him. I came loaded. Came loaded. Okay. Let me, th- let me think of some famous Kyles. Um, nope. <laughs> Didn't go there, to the Well, I can do famous are, in air quotes, I guess. But There aren't a ton of famous Kyles, so it's, it's not the longest list. No, there's not. I I, we had a, we had a hard time. I think we, but even with characters, we probably have five or six. This was so. a hard one to come up with. Yeah, you came up with this I one. Came I came up with this one. Loaded. It's because of the research I do by listening to certain I, podcasts. I, exactly. Yeah, it's loaded. definitely a podcast based. It was uh, podcast based question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and this is losing my bonus point possibility. Is this a character or an actor? This is an actor. It's a voice actor. Okay. Ooh, it's a voice actor. Yeah. Okay. Um. I came loaded. Yeah. Kyle. You have you have a lifeline. Yeah, I'm going to use the lifeline on Jer because you read it. I'm going to pass and pass it on to Scott who what wrote did, it. Okay. What, what did the lifeline exactly mean? What do I do to give uh, you him help? Give him a, a hint. I don't know. Oh, Just okay. a, a, a vague clue. Uh, like you don't have big, to big, make it too a big obvious. Clue. Here's, here, oh, no, uh, no, it's, no, it's a podcast you're on. <laughs> 
Did I get any bonus points for this one? <laughs> Which is a good. Uh, so, uh, so the my my failed answer uh, was Kyle. Me. That yes, was yeah. that was myself. Yeah, that was her Mac Tech episode thirty four, yes. about four or five minutes in. And everybody, uh, okay. Mac Tech, uh, M A K T A C. Mike and Kyle talk about cops. Check it out. That's a good plug for the show. It's this good. was absolutely yeah, the plug I appreciate question that. and yep. plug I appreciate answer. That. Yeah, Make sure to check out yeah, Mac Tech. Yeah, exactly. Well, you got. We'll, yeah, we'll we uh, we watch an episode of Cops and we we go over. We watch a random question episode of Cops <laughs> and we do. Yep. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No. 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 I, I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He, he what was, a, no. What? A, I'm I'm being the douchebag. I'm like, yeah. Plug time. All right. No. 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 We watch an episode, a, co- a random episode, and then we we retell the entire thing uh, to you, and he and I just bullshit back and forth yes. with like pop culture references and, and break, stories and about what's going on in our life. And it's, it's a great show. Yes. I listen every. Thank you. I appreciate week that. Week yeah, week out. When it's when it when it when it pops up, it's it's worth it's a listen. It's definitely a weekly My show. My schedule. It's I am uh, the sole editor of that show, so. Um, when we record, the responsibility lies solely on me, and with <laughs> the work schedule I have, a lot of times it just goes to the wayside, yeah. and I'll realize, like, oh, fuck, it's been a month and a half. Yeah, yeah we, we, uh, we, over time, as we started a lot more aggressive in terms of, like, intersplicing clips and all this kind of stuff, and then over time, I'm yeah. like, we're just talking in front of a fucking mic, dude. Yep. We're not, yeah. there's, yeah. there's no yeah. cuts anymore. Yeah. I gotta do this. That's the thing, because there is so much post-production yep. in our show you gotta pipe that shit in. It's, it's not a simple just, like, listen and cut out bits for content or yep. whatever and it's even like, that, like, like stop yeah. and clips scott scott and i figured and then, it out. like that's that's a way to do it just talk in front of two we, mics almost and, five years yep this uh this and what we, uh, march will be five years uh that you guys April. have done it uh 2014 is when we started yeah yeah we're up we're oh, almost wow, at five wow. years yep, yep. yep wow yeah i think he and i just hit two years yep. i believe nice. and uh, funny enough i've been working with you guys previous to starting yeah, uh, the right, podcast yeah. with him. And I, I have a real, real long history with you guys. Yeah. So it's actually a lot of fun to be like sitting here chatting with you oh, guys. Like, we, 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 talk about, awesome. we talked about doing crossover episodes before, so this is actually a, a pretty good test of that uh, to start it out with, with, a, with a legitimate interview. Um, all right, we got a... Question number four. Question number four. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, okay. That's going to be uh, Kyle Reese. Yeah, you got it. Yep, extra point. Right there. Extra, uh, extra point. If you can name the movie, he said it in. <laughs> really? uh, Termi- the first Terminator. Very, very uh, nice. Do you want to? Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear an embarrassing personal true fact about me? Oh, I thought you were going to do an embarrassing. Did you get impression. raped by the actor who played Kyle Reese when you were a kid? Oh, with some Kyle and Kyle action. It, little Kyle and Kyle. Sweet. Sweet. It was it's terrible. Not illegal this, if it's two Kyles. <laughs> <laughs> this, all right, I, uh, I swear on my life, this is true fact. Um, when uh, my parents uh, were having me, they could not come to an agreement on a name. Uh, my mom wanted to name me Sean. My dad hated that name. Uh, she hated the names that he wanted, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I was born in 1986. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Um, According to your so- bio, you're born in 81, <laughs> but okay, continue. <laughs> also, um, so I, they, I, they were arguing about having the name while having him? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, so, really? Um, They're thrusting and yelling names at well, each no, that's, other. That's that's conceiving. I think I was assuming like during. Oh no, I was assuming they <laughs> were like the going board. at it. Oh, like yeah. Kyle, Sean, <laughs> Kyle, Sean. But, <laughs> throughout the the process, no, Kyle wasn't no. a name that was up in the air. But throughout the process of them like disagreeing throughout, like, what are we going to name him? Um, they they saw fucking Terminator. And when the character of Kyle is introduced, uh, they have both they both told me the story that they had a magic moment and looked at each other and was like, "That's the name." That's a, and I'm like, "That's amazing." I mean, that's an awesome origin story, man. It, it could be it could be a lot worse. I mean, Definitely. I love Terminator. Don't get me wrong, but it is just funny that like I'm named after the fucking Terminator. Dude, I'm, I'm like named, a lot of people. I'm, people be like, "Oh, I'm named after my great great grandfather yeah. who came here and no, that's built awesome. his own." 
brick and mortar shit. No. And it's like, nope, that's what I get. Yeah, you're hey, just think your, your kid someday needs to lead the resistance. Yeah. <laughs> Like that is a thing now. You you will you will defeat Google actually, in the future. I was gonna say the the the, uh, the timing the, the timing Skynet. actually works out. Like yeah. the, the Skynet <laughs> based on like if you yeah. have a kid and they grow up, it's actually about the right time. Yes. I'm, I'm named after uh, a Robert Redford I, movie for crying out loud. So I'm, well, I'm, in, I'm in the same right, boat. Well, here's the thing. I don't I know most do my it. parents, so they said my name's Scott. We I, all have I fun actually, stories, right? This is a podcast about sharing stories. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Debbie Downer. Over Give here. me another shot. So. <laughs> I don't. I don't plan on having children on my own. So unfortunately, wait. Do you have news do you to plan the world? Having children the resistance. From somebody else's. The resistance. Wait, are you will just gonna not... steal a neighbor's kid and raise it as your own? <laughs> you don't. Have, you, you're no. John Connor now. <laughs> I, I plan on having you are kids. The next just not, <laughs> not children of my own. <laughs> my uh, wife doesn't want to have kids. Neither do I. You're now John Connor. You're part of the resistance. <laughs> yeah. Google yeah, is so, guy. Um, What's if, if the if the prophecy is true, unfortunately, the uh, the the uh, uh, we're fucked. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Moving on to the question number five. You bastards. This is a character. This is a character. All right. That's Kyle from South Park. Perfect. Got it. All right. Number six. And I, I like the fact that we <laughs> like Kyle just needs one. Like we gave him a point for just. Kyle. Saying Kyle, which yeah, is the we, name we of the game, we knew of he knew he meant. Yeah. Yes, number- which, no, but I just I think <laughs> clearly it's a Kyle. Like that's it's funny that we gave we give an extra point for that. Uh, anyway, here we go. Um, uh, what do we got? Number uh, six. Uh, all right. I hate to be the only starfish in the sea. <laughs> that uh, that was me <laughs> previously. In a uh, PM with Scott. Yes, yes yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it bumped up without any like qu- uh, uh, any uh, allocation to like that it was you. And I was curious. I'm like, is this like a fucking SpongeBob thing? I'm like, there aren't any Kyles in SpongeBob. No, it's better without context. Okay, yes, it really is. It's a because beautiful the, quote. The, the, the I mean, really, when you come down to it, the mystery is kind of what makes it yeah, exciting. It could be like you know the last. I mean? Like, I like line, his, I, I, a real romantic fucking uh, like indie movie. Did you see that? Oh, we're, he did a little, uh, for the listener a here. Bounce. We're in video chat with Kyle. Yeah, he did uh, a sexy bounce. He, he did a sexy bounce like oh. his head was a oh. steady cam. Oh yeah, up oh, and down. Oh. It was nuts. Yeah, like, like, I have, the, I the head go- moved. The body didn't. Yep. I have a GoPro attached to me at all times. Yep. Oh, so you're. I find it. Is your wife? Aware I find of it that? useful. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, I find it useful for um, uh, masturbating. Yeah. Um, it was in their for, prenup. Um, you know, uh, going to the post office, uh, menial tasks. Uh, you're like a uh, Russian. Pooping. You're like a Russian pooping. car. Pooping's good, yeah, yeah. Poop, yeah, pooping. I'm a big fan of the bidet, so I like to spin the GoPro around, so you really get to, um, you know, uh, stream the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, stream is the stream. I've, I've actually never I, used I, a bidet. I left a gap for a sad trombone. If you wanted to put that. In there, <laughs> if you if you, if you got some cues when you listen back to this, it'd be great. Uh, <laughs> this 30. entire episode is gonna have all these edit notes with no edits, <laughs> <laughs> no edits whatsoever. Now, uh, like yeah. a bunch of grand ideas that are never materialized. Yeah, or, or I won't have all the uh, effects ready to go, so I'll just insert like vocally insert sad trombone here, <laughs> and then that's it for the entire show. Where are we at? Okay, all right. Scott Scott number seven: clear yes. eyes, full hearts. Can't lose. That is Kyle Chandler, coach. Um, wait, wait. You've wait. said it. You've said Co- enough, coach. You, but he wants it. Um, no, no. Come on, God damn Extra, it. extra coach, half point if he gets. I watched. I, my wife and I binge watched that entire series, coach. Yeah, me too. Fucking. Coach oh, fucking oh is God. correct. Yes. Coach fucking. Yes. Coach fucking is correct. Coach. I wasn't popular with the boys on the team. Give me, <laughs> give me the letter. Give me the letter, coach. I'll oh. have to look it up. I can't. Oh yeah, remember. I don't watch that show, so I have no clue. <laughs> no, I, I watched. I, I, I watched it years ago. Uh, hold on, hold on. I only watched it through the one time, and I mean, I liked it. I, nothing I would really go back and rewatch, but I mean, it was good. Oh, uh, e, uh, e, Coach E, Coach E, uh, Coach E. Air. Oh my God, I am going to be Air. so fucking mad. Air. Eric, 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 Coach Eric. T. 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 Eric. T. Tay. <laughs> just gonna Tay, Tay, the whole Coach word. Taylor! Yes, yes. <laughs> Coach 
Jared Taylor! No, bo- no bonus point for that. Yeah, yeah, no bonus uh, point. Sorry. No. Now, now, Jared, number eight, we need to do it together. Do you want to do... Oh, let's let him cry for a moment. All right, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right. I'm okay, I got it. Number eight, I got do you want to yeah. do the lines or the parentheses? Uh, well, I'll, we, I'll, do, I'll to... do the line. I'll, I'll do the line. All right. And you're not going to get this. So. Oh, <laughs> Although, he, actually, he might. He's a music person, and so am I. I found it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all, all right. right. All right. I've been in my zone floating since 8.30, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to uh, do different. Repeat, that. please. Uh, Henny, Henny and Coke, because the Sprite ain't dirty, no. Tell them. Room full of hoes, and they all so flirty, okay? Why? But I keep my main, because these hoes ain't worthy. Yeah. Wow. Clearly um, clearly a song, if you want to call it that. I, I would actually give a, a, a single bonus point for him realizing this is him. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, did I black out did and, and do, do it, make a trap album? <laughs> like, what happened? It is well, trap. Well, well, Mike and I did do a lot of comedy music together, and uh, there's a lot floating out there. So, and I mean, a lot of it was made in a very it, blurry state, so I can't... Well, I can't guarantee anything. Here, here's, uh, here, can you give? Can I have the the decade in which it was from? I feel nineties. Two thousand eighteen. Now. Yes. Two thousand eighteen. I'm pretty so sure it's it, probably um, a SoundCloud rapper, which is why I wasn't sure if you. would guess. Yeah, I was gonna guess if yeah. based Actually, on what it kind of sounds like to me, it oh, sounds again. like one of those. Same thing. All right, I don't I don't follow that genre, but like, what's that guy's name? That what what's his name? Uh, like Machine Gun Kelly. Um, where he's always shirtless and he's like super, super inked up. Well, unless he was Machine Gun Kyle, it wouldn't fit yeah. the nature of the game. Yeah. Here's the thing. Let's Name just, let's Kyle. Like, the, we, the only reason we put this is because we thought maybe you would just accidentally stumble across it and be like, I don't know, it's a rapper named Kyle. The guy's Rapper Kyle. Right? Rapper Kyle? No, that's it's just his Kyle. Oh, it's just Kyle? His fucking oh. name's Kyle. Oh, okay. That's it. Like, that's, Kyle? that's how he's built. Like, <laughs> so, Rap Battle Night t- featuring tonight. Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. From, from the song <laughs> Super Duper Kyle. Do you have an audio clip you can play of this? Go on Spotify, look up Super Duper Kyle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we All can't right, play super... it. We can't play it so you can hear it, but let's go ahead yeah. and uh, let's splice a little bit right here. <laughs> yes. It's just not no. Oh my god, Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah. Super duper Kyle, I've been famous for a while. Yeah. No, she know my name, and she don't, she in denial. Yeah. And I keep a chain with a big ass smile. Yeah. Cause my niggas pay, and I know my mama proud. Yeah. Super duper Kyle, I've been famous for a while. Yeah. No, she know my name, and she don't, she in denial. Yeah. And I keep a chain with a big ass smile. Yeah. Yeah. Cause my niggas pay, and I know my mama proud. Right. Yeah. I've been in my zone floating since 8.30. Yeah. And he in the cold, cause the sprite ain't dirty. No. Room full of hoes and they all so flirty. But I can't yeah, wasn't yeah. that amazing? That was Super Duper Kyle. Yep. All right. Well, the I artist, haven't heard it yet Kyle. at this point, but, but when we're done recording, I'm going to go back and listen to it. So yes. I imagine it's fucking r- ridiculous. It's, right? it's ridiculous. It sounds- it's not a bad song. No, though. his music is terrible. This one song, <laughs> actually not terrible for the genre. Yeah, yeah. Not it's, terrible. It's definitely, right. When I say SoundCloud rappers, that, like, that's a genre now. Even if they're a Spotify rapper, SoundCloud rapper just means there's a certain so, sort of... Is, sort of is it like... House. Yeah. Uh, is it I'm like, in this is car. It, uh, I'm like, in this uh, mouse. Tra- like tra- uh. Is it like uh, trappy, it, mumbly it, it, Yeah, it's, it's, mu- it's, it's mumble trap, yeah. It's definitely yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. With, with, okay, uh, okay. with the auto tuny like, you know... Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's yeah, not yeah, what a rapper it. sounds like. But All right, who does you know, this one now that we did that one uh, together? Uh, you? you, you did seven, Me? so uh, I'll I'll do this one. You'll do All this right. one. Uh, no, you you do this one. I just I just sang a lot. So now listen, go down to Wake and Bake Pizza. Ask for JoJo. Tell him you want the Bob Marley extra crispy. He'll know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, Jesus. That could have easily been a read I did for a client, or it could be from something. <laughs> Interesting. Nice. God, I like this. About that. It's a good game. Yeah. It's a good game. Like let's see. Hey, let's high five each other. Wow. It's self congratulatory status. Well, it's just, it's wait, so wait, wait, wait. crazy. We're, because we're still high fiving each other. Hold on. One more high five. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I, I went back and I looked, and since I started freelancing full time in 2015, I still like subcontract. 
and do other stuff. But I started doing it freelance since 2015, and I've done over 4,000 orders. So that's why it's like, oh, God. I Do you want to hear it uh, one more time? Yeah, yeah. Read it, read it to me once more. Now listen. Go down to Wake and Bake Pizza. Ask for JoJo. Tell him you want the Bob Marley Extra Crispy. He'll know what you're talking about. I figured I'd change up the voice so it wouldn't key into his brain the same way. We're gonna we're gonna good. see if this play is different. Yeah. Hmm. All right. That's the weirdest flashlight I've ever seen. Yeah, he's just sucking he's, on he's it. He's using it wrong. Can I? Like, uh, you usually suck on I dildos, sacri- not flashlights. Can I sacrifice my bonus and uh, ask if it's uh, character, uh, like character? Bo- it's both the character and the actor that plays the na- character of the same name. Okay. It's a character who, yeah, shares yeah. the same name yeah. as the character, uh, yeah. as is the the actor name. plays the character of the same name. It's a that's it's a, that's it's really, a musical. Yeah. He he should get one more. That's really all right. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna a musical. Uh, uh, let me go, Kyle Gas. You got it. Yes. Kyle Gas. Awesome. Today is the pick of destiny. Yep. So there it is. All right, one last one. Junior, I actually never saw that. Uh, I never saw that movie, and I really like Tenacious D. Me, yeah, I me, just me somehow too. missed that one. Yeah, I, I've not watched their new YouTube stuff, uh, but the uh, the animated stuff, which looks pretty funny. But no, I'm out um, too. Uh, but yeah, the uh, no, I saw. But it was fun. It was fun. Tenacious D. Pick a destiny. I remember watching like the original the, old HBO, the HBO one, and that was the one that I really the liked. Yeah, they're, they're definitely best in the short form. Uh, we got one more. This one here is uh, the final question. Ketchup begins with a combination of organic ingredients, coagulated blood, urine, cocaine, nutmeg, more more cocaine, and rubbing alcohol. Well, he has no clue. No, nope. he's completely spelled out. No, he's sucking on his fleshlight again. He's ah, God damn it. Yeah. I think you guys know the uh, well. If you listen to my show and you've heard me talk about this before, so I think you definitely know. I know the answer. You know the answer. That, this, that's why I, that I was going to let you go out on a high note regardless. <laughs> that way, if you got nine wrong, you'd get one, definitely. So. But we haven't heard that an answer was, yet, that so was I'm not me. clear if yes. he knows it. Nope, he just answered. That, yep. that was myself. Ah, that, and, that was from uh, your that, viral video. That haunts, that haunts me to the day. I, I, ju- I cleared a notification from YouTube while we had been on Skype from that video. It haunts me daily. It is, you have, it's tens of millions of views between uh, Facebook and YouTube. And oh, it's insane. Yes. Well, it's it blew up on, on WhatsApp, especially in um, Southeast Asia yes. oh, and, and me, India. Me, actually, let me just describe what we're talking about. We're talking about you redubbing a How It's Made video about ketchup, <laughs> which is on the uh, used to be on the uh, Discovery Science Channel, Science Network, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and How It's Made is a really cool show. They had one about ketchup. You did a redub. It's just your voice over the same exact footage. And it's so go. stupid. It was a literal Sunday Hilarious afternoon thing. project. I did, I did two of them. Yes. I did one Pringles. on Pringles. Yep. And one on ketchup, and all I did was take, I downloaded the video off YouTube, took the script, rewrote the script so it had the same cadence as the original narrator and kind of like fit in my own material, and then re-recorded it over his, replaced it with a new music bed, threw it up online. I mean, I'm talking start to finish. It was like a 30-minute stupid, dumb throwaway idea both times i did it those are the things that go viral you should have known that by now come on for real yeah no yeah that's the thing you can put thousands of dollars and years of work into something and and it will go oh yeah blood sweat tears everything and it will go absolutely nowhere but you can shit out a crappy turd lump and that takes you no effort and like no wherewithal whatsoever to produce and all of a sudden, it's like two years later, it's still a viral thing that's yeah. going around. I, I remember it was, like, I can't remember when you first, when I first saw it and you first showed it to me or shared the link because you're like, this thing's going crazy. Because it was, it was years ago when I saw it. I don't know how long it actually went up, uh, if that was around the time that it went up. But it was like, like 35 it, million views on Facebook. Like it was it got, insane. It got, it got picked up by thousands of those different, like, you know, like, um, like Facebook page and, yeah, channels. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Where they like me- daily memes and daily just like yep. like Reddit with that what's that interdimensional cable like weird shit like stuff like that like thousands of them picked it up and like I would just come across them and each one said like ten million views 
4 million views. Yeah. And my, my own fucking YouTube video, meanwhile, had like 210, yeah. 211. <laughs> yeah. yep. Like it was, and if you go on YouTube and type it up, there are probably 150 re-uploads of my video of my over probably have more on, views than your actual channel video yeah on oh oh yeah on other people's channels yes, of course. it's it's insane so across whatsapp facebook twitter um kick and name it and name the network it has just wildfire spread it's made newspapers in india i think four or five times what um, you they've re- you shared reported like, it on the news? Yes, you, you shared like a, a little bit of a uh, like a request for like an interview or information to me via messenger once about somebody requesting information about this because they thought it was legit and like legitimately a documentary and they needed to talk to you about something like that and it was it was uh, yeah. Southeast Asia yeah. or India or something like that and they yeah. were requesting this information like I can't fucking help you this is a joke like this is well real. it's so like it's so. I when I recorded it, I recorded it straight faced, and you know it's it's not ham fisted. Like I don't do it goofy or obviously where I'm trying to be funny. No, like if, I tried to if, make it if, if, uh, as the close science, to the original narrator if the as possible. The science channel came to you with that script and said, "I want you to read like a real how it's made for ketchup." You'd probably read it in that same exact voice. That's a good parody in my opinion, but I yeah, like that dry like, parody. Yeah, it's it's the script is ridiculous because like I replaced the ingredients with like coagulated blood, blood ketchup, urine, yeah, cocaine, ketchup, nutmeg, urine, more cocaine. I talk about I talk about like ghosts in the factory <laughs> yeah. um, yep. that there's like mushed up body parts. <laughs> yeah. um, there's like it's screaming hilarious. souls. It really is like, funny. But I mean, like when you lit, I, I record it. Like I said, very dry and like. When yeah. I say the words, none of it is intended to be humorous. No. It's intended to be educational and informational. Which is what makes it funny, because you know, so, the I words mean, you say makes it funny. Yeah, of course. But, it's good but like, despite the content being so, uh, like, uh, obviously satirical, yes. it it like 90% of the viewers have taken it as fact. And I have <laughs> gotten... That's funny. I have, got, I have gotten death threats... I have. I'm like not kidding. I've, and shit, be like, don't you I've fucking gotten, talk about our ketchup like that? How do you know? How do you know? Yeah. We use? <laughs> How do you know? No, I have. I have gotten death threats. I've gotten death threats that were written in Urdu. Or I um, thought you was gonna say you're you know, in whatever. ketchup, which would have been awesome. <laughs> like I've gotten emails and like PS4 messages because I, I share a handle. Yeah. And like I've had to like run it through Google Translate, and it's like. Um, you, just ho- horrible things, and it, it, it like it's daily. It's insane. Well, and like some some of the people are in on the joke, and the other ones aren't. And the Pringles one has barely any hate. The, it's the ketchup one that just rubbed yeah. the entire Eastern Hemisphere wrong. Well, I'm, I'm really I'm really half uh, I'm, I'm really happy that we could uh, kind of jab that right in there for you, and uh, and and bring that right back up. You know. Actually, bring- I, I, I'm wondering, like, it's not too late to change the entire title of the episode, the uh, the show image, everything for this week. Is Netflix's Terrifier as big <laughs> as the ketchup? We, yeah, no, you know, that's pretty much it about the ketchup, though. You know, yeah, we're, no, we're, no, we're, we, we'll, we, we'll figure, we, we'll figure we, this we, out. We, we might redo yeah. this whole thing, yeah. but um, we do have more of the show to go on to, and because we're actually kind of pushing forward into this episode. I'm thinking what we do this week is we separate the show into a two-parter. Yeah, because... Uh, you want to do a two-parter? Yeah, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue talking with uh, uh, Kyle right now because we got some more to uh, hit uh, touch base on after this, and we got to go into our 10 questions. But next week, uh, we're going to a- air the second half of this uh, episode. So if you're still listening, we're going to air that next week when we do a little bit of a kind of a year-end spectacular slash uh, yeah, archive. A f- a few or, or, or if we talk, depending on how long we talk with Kyle, uh, it, that might take up a significant portion of that yeah. show as well. So we this is going to be a two-parter. We're going to keep talking with Kyle uh, right now, but we just wanted to let you know that's uh, I think this is about where we're going to break. 
And uh, yeah, we need to yeah. leave enough time to do uh, check in on Jason Jr. and yep. Bruce Bruce and, and Bruce see Bruce. what is going on inside that bunker. Absolutely. So until we uh, check in with them, yeah. um, actually, uh, we should probably give a moment to our guests to say goodbye. Yeah, quickly. yeah. Uh, why don't you say sort of goodbye? We're going to keep talking to you in a second here anyway, yeah, but yeah. just for this week. Oh, and this is the Christmas episode, so if you want to wish anyone a Merry Christmas or whatever, this is a perfect opportunity. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Mary, Mary, whatever doesn't offend you, you offended at everything, person. Uh, <laughs> catch up! Yeah! But, uh, catch up! Joy to all. It doesn't matter what I say, I'm going to get in trouble. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. Joy, joy to your month, and may good, good things be with be with all. Yeah. There no, we yeah. go. You heard it here first. Kyle Brock says no means yes. All right, Kyle Brock. And, thanks, uh, for, uh, thanks, thanks for having me on. And uh, yeah, I'm happy till, to till, stick around yeah, and till, till next, keep chatting with you guys. Till next week when we're getting into the 10 questions. But until then, let's get into the next segment, which is uh, all about uh, Jason Jr. and Bruce Bruce and what they're doing lost down under. And until next week, get lost. Get Bruce lost. Bruce here. Jason Jr. and all, we're just taking a bit of a rest while we waited for the weird planes to come back. But I just woke up and Jason Jr.'s gone again. I murdered him, or uh, I, I saved Jason from his girlfriend earlier, so I don't think he's gone to see her. And I don't see the airplanes back, so I doubt he's in the house. I'm getting a little concerned about all this running off he does, but, you know, he did confide in me and said that he tends to sleepwalk a little bit, so, you know, maybe he's doing that. He says, especially when he's stressed, he, he likes to go out for a little walk while he's sleeping, you know? So maybe he's just taking a little sleepy time jaunt and he'll turn up. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find him now. You see, all Australians, we're expert trackers. I could find just about anything if I put my mind to it. Let's see here. Oh, I'll, I see a footprint here. Looks like Jason's. Uh, or maybe, no, maybe it's just a smudge. Yeah, no, it's a smudge. It's a smudge right there on the ceiling. I thought it was a single footprint and, uh, you know, well, which now that I think about it, that would be pretty strange. Just one footprint in the middle of the ceiling. I guess, yeah, oh, I should have thought about that. Um, oh, all right then. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think that's Jason Jr.'s coat. Let me take a closer look here. Uh, uh, no, no, this is just a garbage bag. No matter, we'll find him. Everyone leaves a trail. Like this right here. I've no doubt that now I'm looking at one of Jason Jr.'s hairs. Yes, I've, I've just got to just gotta take a quick quick look at this. Oh, you've got to have eyes like an eagle to spot something like this. So the, oh, never mind. No, that was actually an eagle. Not Jason's hair. Strange place for a majestic bird like an eagle to be hanging out, but I'll just leave it to itself and... Wait, wait, wait. No, I see him. There he is, Jason Jr. Jason! Jason Jr. He's not answering. I hope he's alright. Jason! Jason Jr. Oh, let me get... Jason! Are you... Oh, no, no, never mind. I see now. It's not Jason Jr. here. It's a pile of shit. It's just like a heaping pile of very bits... You know, varying bits of shit. All crafted together in effigy. It's like something out of the Blair Witch Project. Only instead of sticks and a witch, it's just a pile of shit. The craftsmanship is quite good, though, but alas, still no sign of Jason Jr. But I've done all I can, so he's probably dead. Best time to be heading back to the site in case those airplanes come back. Oh, too bad Jason's dead, though. Well, until next time, folks. Well, I hope you all enjoyed hearing from our good friend Bruce Bruce, and hopefully Jason Jr. will be found safe and sound, and he's not actually dead, but I guess we won't know till next time. But... We are actually uh, running a little bit short this week. We like to keep it about the hour, especially for the radio listeners. But we have just enough time. And, of course, it is the uh, Christmas holiday coming up right around the corner. This is their last show before the Christmas holiday. And we have uh, I'm uh, going to go in and tuck a little bit of filler material in because some of you are maybe new listeners since last time we uh, did this skit, which was last Christmas. Uh, this is actually a little skit that we put together about Santa and how he doesn't like poor people. So enjoy this little piece of bonus content called Santa Don't Like the Poor. Get lost. All right, kids, come on. Settle down, everybody. Settle down. You're not going to get your treat if you don't settle down. Okay, that's what I thought. So we have a special guest today, all the way from the North Pole. I hope you can give them a warm welcome. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. North Pole. Is it your Uncle Billy? <laughs> no, no, Uncle Billy lives right up the street. Is it, is it the Easter Bunny? Yeah! No, no, the Easter Bunny didn't come around this time. But you're, oh, I know who it is. It's Santa Claus! Oh, 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 
my goodness! Merry Christmas! Look at all of you lovely little children! I can't wait to spend some time with each and every one of you! <laughs> oh, don't worry, parents! I mean that in a Santa Claus way! I'm not running for Senate in Alabama! <coughs> he lost! Well, Santa's gonna update his material a little bit! He's been so busy getting ready for Christmas! But you know the one thing I don't know? I don't know what everybody wants for Christmas. Do you all want to tell Santa Claus what you want for Christmas? <laughs> of course you do. All right, first up, first up. Well, hello there. What's your name? Timmy. I see, Timmy. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I was watching a commercial on TV. Uh huh. Santa, and there was a little kid in there, it's probably my age or so. Yep. Yeah. And he didn't have no shoes, mm -hmm. and he didn't have no clothes, mm -hmm. and he didn't have no food, huh? and he lived in the mud, and he had flies all around him. I see. I was wondering, why don't you fly over there for Christmas, and you get this kid some shoes, and you get this kid a shirt, and you get this kid a Philly cheesesteak. And you get this kid some fly spray. Oh, well, that's actually an easy one to answer, little Timmy. And, uh, and the reason is, is because that child is poor. And Christmas, well, it's not for poor people. See, Christmas is for people who have parents who can afford to get them things. At least the basic necessities. Do you understand, Timmy, that Christmas isn't for poor people? No. No, I can see by the look on your face, you, you don't quite understand. So, hey, perhaps I can get a little help from my elves and old Rudolph here, and they can get me a little song going there, and, um... Oh. Oh, the train's coming in, too. Oh. Okay, pay attention, children. Oh, Santa don't like the poor, no. Santa don't like the poor. Santa don't like the poor, no, no. Santa don't like the poor. If you got no money, if you ain't got a dime, no, there ain't no use for you at Christmas time. But Santa, yes, mommy says we're poor. Does that mean I'm not gonna get a Christmas? Oh goodness gracious, don't be silly, child. No, 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 no. Your parents are America poor. That means they're still allowed to go deep into crippling debt. Which means your parents can be poor, and you can still get that Nintendo Switch for Christmas. Would you like one of those? Okay then, Nintendo switches for everybody! <laughs> Santa don't like the poor, no. Santa don't like the poor. Santa don't like the poor, no, no. Santa don't like the poor. If you got no money, you ain't got a dime. No, there ain't no room for you at Christmas time. And don't worry, children. Being poor is totally avoidable. All you have to do is be bored, not poor, and the rest falls right into place. And of course, a good work ethic helps, like our good friends the old elves over here. We work all day and we sing this song. It goes doodly, doodly, doo doo. And when we see a poor person on the street, we sit inside their mouth. Oh, take it from these guys, they're the hardest working slaves in the business. Well, what kind of day would it be if we didn't give you a special lesson from our friend Hermie, the dentist? Of course, you remember him. You want to take this, Hermie? Why, sure. Remember me, I was going to be a dentist. But then I lost all my teeth to addiction. Had me a taste of that crystal meth, and I haven't looked back or slept since. What happened to your teeth, I hear you ask? Some fell out and some I sold. Turns out there's people who will buy your teeth, and also some who will suck your dick for meth, like me. I'm the original elf on the shelf. Sometimes you'll find me playing with myself. But when you do, it's most likely because I'm 11 days into a bender. My daddy thinks I'm a disappointment. I bet he wishes that I was a dentist. Instead of sucking all this dick for drugs, I really let my life fall into the shitter. No. <laughs> so you see, you don't want to end up like old Hermie here, performing sexual favors for drugs behind a dumpster door. Of course you do not. Well, the way to get around that, remember to work hard, and most important of all, don't be born poor. <laughs> well, <laughs> I saw the time Sandy has for today. Come on, let's go back to the North Pole, elves. Follow me. Oh, no, Santa, Santa, there's more kids to, um, to, uh, 
Well, I think he's gone. All right. Merry Christmas.